A 20 kilometer wide lake has just recently been discovered underneath the surface of Mars. And this isn't a small collection of ice or weird streaks coming down the soil, but rather actual liquid water. So where is this lake on Mars? How does it stay liquid in a freezing Martian environment? And what does this mean for future expeditions to the red planet? Let's talk about that. Now this lake was discovered using the European Space Agency's Mars Express mission, which has been in orbit around Mars for the last 15 years. Now on board this spacecraft is an experiment called Marsis, which can only operate in altitudes below 800 kilometers to the surface. Therefore, there's only a small portion of its orbit that it can actually perform these experiments. Now the lake is predicted to be near the south pole of Mars, and by collecting data from the Marsis experiment for over three years, this is the image they were able to get. Now do you see a lake? Probably not. So let's understand a little bit about what Marsis is. It's a radar experiment that's capable of looking through the Martian soil, going down into different sedimentary layers, looking at ice, different minerals, and possibly even water. Now this process is used here on Earth to see how liquid water moves underneath the surface, ice moves underneath glaciers, and even prospecting for diamonds and gold. So let's go back to Mars. In the image that was released by the European Space Agency, we could see varying brightnesses, whether it be darker or lighter, at different locations underneath the soil. And the first almost horizontal line is the representation of the surface. But if we look just underneath that a little bit, you can see another bright spot, which is where scientists theorize the liquid water is hiding between other layers of ice. Now this is just one image that was taking over a single orbit over that region. And by collecting anywhere around 25 to 30 of these images, they were able to see where exactly this bright spot is. And by overlaying that on the surface, you could see in the dark bluish triangle in the center is where they predict the lake to actually be. And it turns out to be about one and a half kilometers below the surface. So it might be a little bit of a hassle to get there. So an important question is how is liquid water existing in such a cold environment? Mars near the South Pole is roughly around negative 60 to negative 70 degrees Celsius, which is far below freezing for fresh water. But there are a couple ideas on how it could actually be staying in its liquid state. The first one being that Mars's core is actually radiating some heat, meaning underneath the surface it's actually quite a bit warmer than what it would be on the surface. However, this isn't expected to go all the way past 0 degrees Celsius or to liquid state. Therefore, it's also predicted that there are salts within the water. Salt water lowers the melting point, therefore allowing it to exist at lower temperatures. However, the salt that is actually theorized to be in there is perchlorates, which we've talked about in a previous episode and could be possibly an issue when we discuss life in this lake. So what does this mean for future missions to Mars? Scientists say once you find one, it becomes a lot easier to find more, but it might not be like that in this situation. As I mentioned before, the Mars Express satellite that the Marsis experiment is on board is 15 years old, and the instrument or the actual experimentation only works in a small percentage of the actual orbit of the spacecraft. Therefore, it would take a lot of effort to maneuver to a new location in order to see whether or not there are lakes elsewhere. However, NASA has recently launched the InSight mission, which is going to try and understand the geophysics or what's going on underneath the surface of Mars. Not necessarily looking for lakes or pockets of ice, but rather if Mars's inner core is actually radiating heat and trying to understand how the planet formed as a whole. But the important part is understanding if Mars is actually radiating heat. Because if it is, that could mean that there are more pockets of these lakes that exist throughout the entire planet. So do you think there are more lakes like this hiding beneath the surface? Or do you think this was just a lucky guess for the Mars Express mission? I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. If you want to learn more about how the Marsis experiment is able to peer through the surface of Mars, or what NASA thinks about this release and if they agree with it or not, or possibly even if life could exist in one of these lakes, check out the full length video that's going to be released on Thursday. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.